Some of y'all are like, who hurt her? Yeah, who hurt me? Y'all. <laughs> Hey guys, so back with another video and you read the title. So today we're gonna, well, I'm going to tell you my biggest turnoffs and y'all dudes, which I'm gonna get pretty passionate about. So if you're offended, that's on you. Because y'all are trash. Like, y'all really irk me <laughs> to my core. Honestly. <sighs> I can't deal with y'all. But yeah, so let me tell y'all what I really, really cannot stand about y'all. And this is just the top things. You know, on an individual basis, there's so much more. Because y'all are... <sighs> y'all really take me there, you know? <laughs> But no particular order. I wrote it down on my phone. Um, but I think this one is the top one, even though it's no particular order. But this one is the highest of high. Just know that. So, cocky dudes. Mm, 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 mm. I really cannot stand y'all like especially like you just think you're God's gift like we're all children of God <laughs> you're not the only one so settle yourself down humble yourself like I really just cannot stand that but like when you're arrogant like and you're just like oh my god y'all <laughs> Especially if you're flashy or you're showy, I can't stand that type of dude at all. Like, okay, cool, you know, if you're cocky and you know, you oh, on the finest new game here or something like that, it's like, calm down, like, be confident. Like, I don't want nobody that's insecure for sure, but, like, tone it down, like, uh, I just can't but anyways what I was saying was like arrogant like I just really can't stand like somebody who's showy like if you got nice stuff okay wear your nice stuff be cool about it like do it in a subtle way or if you drive a nice car or if you got money whatever but don't be like if you think that I'm going to be impressed by you showing me your money, I'm not, I'm not worried about your money. I'm worried about my money. Clearly, I don't want you to be a broke boy, but I'm not focused on what you have. I'm focused on what I'm getting, what I'm doing. I mean, and especially like, like it just kills me like dudes just really be trying to get you like oh I got money I do this I do that your point or if they show you money oh my god like this is more people in like in the club and stuff but like okay that means nothing unless you're like 30 years older than me and you're trying to pay my tuition trying to be my sugar daddy I'm not worried about your check I am not so that money stuff's not gonna impress me i think that impresses simple females simple girls i don't know it doesn't impress me so if you think that's gonna get you anywhere with me it's not if you drive a nice car oh i got a beamer da, da, da. okay cool be humble about it okay that's <laughs> i think that's all for the cocky arrogant dudes like i really just that really just irks me the most so other one this should have to go no this should have to go this should have to go unsaid i think that's the phrase <laughs> this should have to go unsaid but bad hygiene mm -mm. 
<laughs> Y'all. Okay. We'll start with like nails or something. Nail. If you have long nails, cut them. This That's nasty. Like, and then y'all be having that crackhead nail. Like, if you do what you do, not crack, but if you do what you do, and you, it's just not cute. It's, and then if they're dirty, ew, and you want to touch me with your hand? No, 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 no. Mm -mm. Y'all really don't even be flossing though. Y'all need to floss. Y'all need to brush your tongue. Y'all need to floss. Y'all need to go to the dentist. <laughs> but um, if y'all like, okay. Everybody's breath don't be A1 all the time. Like, if you say yours is, you're lying. But um, you should be able to know when your breath is not. Like, you should be able to know when your breath is on 10. You should not be in my face trying to talk to me. You should be trying to hide a little bit, turn your head, something. Because, <laughs> no. And you should be able to smell it, taste it. Like, you not, you need to know your breath stinks. Like, if you don't know your breath stinks, that's a problem. That's really a problem. <laughs> But, uh, oh, if y'all, if y'all are musty, y'all need, I don't, it's, I don't know if it's like y'all don't be showering, sh showering, or y'all not wearing deodorant, or y'all, I don't know, but musty, mm -mm, mm -mm. what's even worse probably is like when y'all just have a smell to you. And it's not even a musty smell. It's just like a stench. That's not okay. And I will not. Mm -mm, we're not getting far because I'm going to be very distant from you. So I guess we are getting far. <laughs> but um, I'm so corny. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah. Like it be like y'all clothes. I don't know if it be y'all house or y'all not washing y'all clothes right. Or y'all just be wearing dirty clothes. Either or. All the above. I don't know. But I don't understand how someone can have a smell. And become immune to their smell. Mm. Mm -mm. No, no. Do you smell it? That smell. The kind of smelly smell. A smelly smell that smells smelly. Huh? What else did I say? Oh my god. This dudes who always talk about sex. Like, do you have nothing else to talk about? Especially, it be the dudes I don't want. Like, I'm not even thinking about that with you. And you're bringing that up. And I'm getting disgusted. Like, <laughs> there's no thought of that with me. And you brought it up and you're really just, like, nasty. No, I don't, <laughs> I don't want to hear about it. I say, oh, people that freaking send you nudes unwanted nudes that's not okay like why y'all think oh let me send her you know pick and she gonna like it no no we're not we're not unless she's really dtf i don't think she wants your penis picture okay Anyways, inconsistency. <sighs> this more so comes from like dudes I personally like. Like if I'm not interested in you, I'm not going to really care if you're inconsistent. Yeah, pretty much. Like it becomes like a disrespectful thing. 
So let me put it like this. Um, let's say I'm not interested in you and mm, you always text me first. Not in, mm, anyways, you start the conversation, but you're always the one who never texts me back in the end of the conversation. So therefore, like I'm not going to reach out if you're not texting me back. Therefore, I think you don't want to talk to me. So I'm not going to reach out. I'm just not. So, again, not interested in you, person. <laughs> I'm probably so, I'm probably making this so complicated. But, um, yeah, like that inconsistency, that's kind of annoying. Because it's like, why are you texting me in the first place? If you really don't want to continue the conversation because you're always the one that's like ending the conversation because you're not responding back that is a little disrespectful but other than that like if i'm not interested in you and you're taking hours to text back completely fine I'm not gonna worry about it I'm not um if i am interested in you i want to talk to you so if you're not texting back i'm like why what are you doing what's going on and then if you take five hours to text back, but you don't have an explanation, and you're just like, hey, or you just continue the conversation, that. <laughs> I'm like, hey, continue the conversation. Where have you been? What, what? Like, no. At this point, your phone is in your hand 24 seven, so I'm confused in your pocket in your hand on the side of you like no mm -mm. I just don't understand why people still have failed to um understand the concept of just letting somebody know you're gonna be busy it would be so helpful to the relationship or whatever like just say Oh, I'm going to be doing this and that. So I'll hit you up later. Cool. So I'm not wondering what you're doing for this five hour period. You're not texting me back. You let me know. And then I can go on about my day. I'm not worried about it. Just be like, oh, I'm going to hear from him later. It's cool. Okay. It's really that simple. I don't think y'all realize it's that simple. I don't know why people don't do that. Or enough people don't do that. Some people do. But, um, yeah, also, inconsistent in, like, if you're making plans with me and you're not coming through with the plans, why did you make the plan? I'm, com I'm confused because don't have me hyped and you're not coming to the table with nothing. Re really confused, like, that's really annoying, but... It'd be killing me like, <laughs> it'd be killing me like, um, oh, if somebody says like, like if they trying to hang out with you, they're trying to take you on a date or something. So that day comes, right? And yeah, I don't even talk to you at all. <laughs> like, it's not even like, a, oh, I can't make it. Or nothing like that it's not like a flaking it's not like a flaking on me thing it's like oh you really just intentionally did not text me did not call me facetime me whatever this day like you really just like skipped over the day and act like everything was cool the next day you hit me up mm, why are you talking to me like Maybe it's just my people. Maybe I just get approached by the wrong people. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But, um, yeah, that's that really be killing me. But your words need to match your actions because y'all could talk all day. That's all y'all. That's really all y'all do. Y'all just be talking. I just be like, oh, okay. Like, I don't care. <laughs> Next. Like, y'all be saying the same stuff. Like, y'all do y'all mean anything that y'all say clearly some of y'all like who hurt her yeah who hurt me y'all <laughs> but um yeah like 
y'all inconsistent with what you're saying and what you're doing keep it the same matter of fact don't even tell me nothing you finna do just do it so i could be like okay he like okay like okay look at him look what he did and i could be like happy about it she's like you just talking just talking and that's so annoying to me because nine times out of ten i'm not believing nothing you're saying anyways but then if you really don't come through then i'm like i'm not gonna believe nothing you say at all honestly so that's how i'm feeling about that inconsistency is awful don't be inconsistent be consistent okay if you really want a girl or oh i'm glad i just <laughs> thought of this um y'all be doing so much to get the girl when y'all get her what happened like y'all just forgot like i don't know like multiple people wanted her or something and you got her and now you just like oh i got her it don't matter no still put that work in like why you being lazy now like you got me i expected the same like the same um same treatment but that's not what happens <sighs> I need to meet better people, honestly, clearly, y'all see, don't have good experience. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Next one, next one, next one. Entitlement. Hmm. Okay. So, dudes who feel entitled. So, first, I'm going to say, like, nice guys. Nice guys feel they're entitled to getting girls because they're nice guys self-proclaimed of course oh i'm a nice guy oh she don't like me she want to go for the hoes or she want to go for a dude that's not gonna treat her right Let, uh, again <laughs> god i'm stuttering again this is a self-proclaimed nice guy y'all really not a nice guy either if you're really a nice guy you don't have to, you don't have to say, I'm a nice guy, I'm a nice guy. The girl's just gonna know you're a nice guy. People are just gonna know. Like, you don't have to say that. Like, when people be like, oh, I'm, I'm the realest. I'm, no, you don't have to say that if you really are. People just gonna feel that energy. You don't have to tell people about it. So if you're a nice guy, you don't have to say that. You don't have to let me know, like, because it's not, like, it's not accurate. That's coming from you, and it's, just, it's not accurate. <laughs> like, maybe y'all do some nice things, but in the end, unfortunately, y'all are all the same. Somebody show me different, and then I could say different, but honestly, y'all just be, y'all be wearing masks at the beginning, and y'all are different people. In the end, y'all take off the mask. And y'all are all the same dude. <laughs> it's crazy. It's really crazy. Like, I don't understand. I really do not. I really don't. But, um, yeah. So, the nice guys, I think, just, like, girls are supposed to like them because they're a nice guy. It's like, okay, you could be a nice guy. Let's say you are. Maybe your personality is trash. Maybe you're just like, you're not, like, maybe you're boring. I don't want nobody that's boring. So, and it's not even about you being nice so you that equates to you being boring. It's just like you not entertaining. Like, you can't tell me a joke and I laugh or you just stale. I don't know. But... It don't even have to just be boring. It could be like, I don't know. I don't know. You just don't make the cut, honestly. But it's not even like all nice guys or whatever. It's the ones that just think they're like so good of a guy when they're not. Or they're not as much as they're saying. They're hyping. They're overhyping their ability of being a nice guy. Yeah. <laughs> But, um, also entitlement, like, 
don't know like y'all really be doing the bare minimum or y'all don't even do the bare minimum matter of fact and then y'all think like somebody's supposed to be on you like i'm supposed to be on your job because you're doing nothing like just because let's go back to the showy arrogant people if you're very attractive or if you have money drive a nice car or anything like that you just like feel entitled like somebody's supposed to be on you like no no not at all you need to put the work in just like everybody else nothing special okay until you show me something special but other than that no like you feeling entitled to what like the vagina like <laughs> i don't know what y'all be feeling entitled to but y'all need to get out of that mindset because you're not entitled to nothing show me show me okay i think i hit every point i was trying to go with that i think next one Oh, narrow-minded people. I don't like narrow-minded people in general, but narrow-minded dudes is just like, hmm. I don't know, it's just like, for example, if you're a homophobe, like, I really probably couldn't be with you because... I just don't understand like why like let people live let people do what they do and like let's if you don't personally agree with their lifestyle that's on you like okay that's your view we're gonna agree to disagree but if you're like like constantly bashing them and like just just rude for no reason and just like hating them hating on gay lgbt all that like for what that's narrow-minded like just accept everybody for who they are if you don't agree with their lifestyle you don't agree with their lifestyle but let them do them they're just living like everybody else is just living like we all in a messed up world like just let them live so narrow-minded as far as like social issues and then narrow-minded as far as like you can't get out of yourself like you like if somebody tells you about yourself now different people are different which i probably <laughs> would be a little upset if somebody told me about myself but at the end of the day i think i'm learning and i'm more accepting of others um like opinions well not really opinions because it'd be facts <laughs> but like if they tell me about myself and i'm just like what but then i'm like mm, you know what that's true let me work on that okay so like it's just like if somebody can't tell you about yourself and tell you like something about like what you're doing wrong or how you just aren't uh no no it's not making sense hold up hold up <laughs> or maybe it's not making sense in my head wait a minute let me get it together so basically if somebody cannot tell you like what's wrong something that you're doing wrong and you just won't hear it like that's narrow-minded like you're just stuck in your own views and that's not cool because you need to be able to hear other people's opinions and be like okay and understand them learn from them whatever if you don't agree you cannot agree but don't just like shut people out and just be stuck in your own mindset that's like a turn off for sure and <laughs> like dudes that be um like that are stuck in that freaking like the gender roles in the the whole patriarch patriarch patriarchal patriarchy <laughs> um no 
know, like, if you, oh, the woman's gonna cook, clean, take care of the kids, da da da, -da. <laughs> I will cook and clean and take care of the children, sure. But you're going to cook and clean and take care of the children. Like, this an equal thing. <laughs> Like, it's not gonna be, oh, a woman's supposed to do that. Oh, no. We both gonna do it. Because that's a no. That's really a no. I really can't with that. Like, that old mindset. I'm more of a nuance person. So, that we're not gonna do that at all. We're not. Um. So, if you're narrow-minded and you still believe all that, I don't know. You're gonna have to get off of that if you wanna mess with me. But... If you don't keep it, somebody might like it. I don't know, but I don't. <laughs> um, let me see. I feel like there was something else I wanted to say about narrow-minded people. I don't know. If you're not willing to like do new things or something, like I don't like to do. Well, no, that's wrong. I like to do new things. I'd be like mm, hesitant to try new food. Dang, y'all. Camera had cut off. I didn't even know I was really going in on y'all like that. <laughs> but let me speed it up. So, I forgot what I was talking about. Oh, I know what I was talking about. <laughs> what, okay, I'd be hesitant to try new foods and stuff. But I will. Um, slowly. But, um, like, if you just don't want to do anything new or you're just like... You're just boring if you're narrow-minded, that's all. Just have an open mind, accept others, all that good stuff. Next one, last one, disrespectful dudes. <laughs> like, oh my god, if you're calling girls the B word, like, I, I just really can't stand that word, personally. I don't know, some girls like that some girls be calling each other that i don't i don't like it i don't mess with it and you definitely not calling me it <laughs> let's not get confused but okay so disrespectful if you're disrespecting me of course that's a no but um and you're not even gonna do that because i'm gonna tell you about yourself honestly sometimes i tell people about themselves and i be going in and then a lot of the times I'm so nice and I don't be going in on people like I need to or like they deserve it. So I be trying to be nice, kill them with kindness. Mm -mm. I really, I really need to be going in on people, but I just be trying to, you know, be the bigger person. <laughs> but we're not, you're not going to disrespect me at all. But it's more so if you're disrespecting others. Like, if you're not being polite, just simply somebody holding the door for you, you're not saying thank you, or you're not acknowledging them, or if you're just, like, rude to a waiter or something like that, like, it's just not, it's not called for. If you're rude to your mother, like, or your, or your father, whatever, like, just don't be disrespectful, like, then I just know you're gonna disrespect me, or you're gonna be some type of psycho. I can't mess with you. So yeah, that's my biggest turn off, you guys. Um, if anyone wants to see my biggest turn ons, I will make a video. But somebody gotta tell me they want to see it. Otherwise, I think y'all don't want to see it. Y'all be shy to comment. Comment, girls. Tell me your biggest turn offs. Tell me if I hit your biggest turn offs. Dudes, tell me if y'all do that. No, y'all probably not gonna admit to that. But anyways, y'all could tell me y'all biggest turnoffs with girls, or whatever. Okay, comment, <laughs> like the video, uh, and subscribe, of course. Um, yep, that's all for now, you guys.